G'day everyone, Daniel O'Grady here and welcome to another Wasabi Cars video. Thank you very much for joining me, I hope you're all well. So it's Saturday morning here in Japan, it's you know warming up, I'm loving it. Went for a bike ride today, I got my morning coffee ride here, I'm feeling good. And uh, check out what's on the workbench. Yes, I just have been doing this model kind of recently. I had some trouble with the body, check it out, ouch. But yeah, the engine is coming along very, very nicely, so hopefully I can save that. Anyway, uh, today's car, what a car. I've been seeing it for a couple of years at car shows now, and uh, I have been putting it off because when I made this video, it would mean that I could probably never make another Nissan Laurel video ever. It truly is mind-blowingly awesome. Mostly stock and standard, but you know, a few enhancements here and there, but uh, it is a knockout. The color, I guess, is the first thing that caught my eye. And then as I got closer to it, the cleanness. You know, there's no sort of specks of dust in any nook or cranny. It is just so very, very clean. Ah, the spec level, it is a Laurel GL6. Now, I'm a little bit confused about this. I will have to speak to the owner. There's, I know there is an SGX, and I read that, that there is an SGL, but the GL6, I haven't heard of. So uh, next time I speak to the owner, and I've had some good chats with the guy over the years. His name is Mr. Yamazaki. He's a top guy, friendly guy. Had a good chat last car show. Uh, anyway, and check out his car. It says Gunkyu Oyaji. Uh, so it says uh, stubborn old man, stubborn old fart is what it says. So that's pretty cool. But anyway, I will have a chat with him about that. So Mr. Yamazaki was kind enough to give me a complete tour of his car and uh, under the hood is just as gleaming as the outside of the car. It is breathtakingly clean. I mean, I can't even wrap my head around it. Just amazing. So it of course has the L Gata, the L series six cylinder Nissan engine. It's a two liter single overhead cam, triple carburetors. And you can see there's a little uh, information uh, body ID tag over there. It says Nissan, and then it says KHC 130. Now, I always refer to the Butiket's Nissan Laurel as a C130. Generally speaking, that's what they all are at their base. And then from there, you've got the extra letters which denote different things. I guess one thing that sort of struck me about the inside of the engine bay is the stretch marks of the inner panels, the inner guards. Uh, just struck me as odd, but uh, hey, I'm loving it. Loving it in a big way. Next, let's check out the interior, and it's just as breathtaking as you would expect. I'm really liking the dash on this one. You've got uh, several gauges, and uh, there's the wood grain panel insert there. You've got uh, under dash aircon, aftermarket stereo. Check out the gear knob. It's like a little, uh, what is it, like a glass orb with a uh, flower in preserve there. Very, very interesting. But the steering wheel, check it out. That's the sports steering wheel. So clean. Seriously, was that bought off the shelf like yesterday? That is amazing. Those seats look super comfortable. Oh, I would love to have a sit in that. Preferably the driver's seat, to be honest. Wow, and there you go, a final look at the car. Just breathtaking. I mean, this car stood apart and will continue to stand apart from every other car parked next to it. Wow, just amazing. Yamazaki-san, arigatou gozaimashita. Thank you very much. Your car is amazing. Okay, now question of the day relates to something that changed my life and what changed your life. Uh, I remember it so clearly. It would have been 12 years ago or 13. I forget, uh, but it was so clear, the memory. <laughs> I uh, was invited to a restaurant for lunch, Japanese curry restaurant. And from that moment forward, my life was changed. The course of my life changed. I experienced something new and amazing. And from there on, I was going to that restaurant, well, on a regular basis. And last night I had a, actually, Koko Ichiban is the restaurant. It's just changed my life. It, it, what can I say? So anyway, please tell me something you ate, something you saw, something you did that changed your life forever. Something small, not birth of a baby. I mean, something that, you know, something not like that. Something smaller. So uh, that changed your life, okay? Let me know in the comments below and I will leave it there. So thank you very much for joining me and take it easy. Goodbye. With a little bit of rust and a little bit of dirt on wasabi cows and a little bit of wasabi.